So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Field reporter and gross science intern, Elizabeth Gillis, is here to tell us about the ultimate in recycling. Recycling poop. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. At any given time, about 300 cows called Jordan Dairy Farm home, meaning there's definitely no shortage of manure. Luckily at this farm, they know what to do with it. We combine manure from the cows and source separated organics or food waste to produce energy and fertilizer. You see, when animals poop, they don't just release feces. They also release microorganisms that feed on the fecal matter. Mm -mm. And a few of these microscopic creatures produce an energy-filled gas called methane as a byproduct of their digestion. Usually, the methane floats up into the atmosphere and contributes to global warming. But when cows at Jordan farm poop, most of it falls through grates in the floor of the barn. It gets pumped a few yards away to a giant tank Beep. called an anaerobic digester, where all the methane gets funneled into an electricity-producing engine. Some of the power is used right here on the farm, and the rest is pushed back into the electrical grid for others to use. Inside the digester, all this waste takes part in a process called anaerobic digestion. Essentially, the organic waste gets eaten by microbes, some from the poop itself and others that are added to kickstart the process. The microbes release methane, which is converted into electricity. But poop's not the only thing thrown into the digester. Other types of organic material, like food waste, gets digested as well. They like ice cream more than they like celery. If we had ground up mm. celery, you wouldn't get as much energy out of that as you would out of ice cream, which makes sense, because we know there's more calories than that. To keep all these organisms happy, the digesters have to be anaerobic, or oxygen free, and they need to be kept at a temperature of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And when the engine's running, it actually produces heat uh, as well as electricity, and we capture some of that heat to keep our digester warm. So it's a way to reuse all the byproducts coming out of the system. After the methane's captured, the brown slurry, or digestate that's left over, makes an awesome fertilizer. It still has a lot of nutrients in it, so nitrogen, which is really good for plant growth. So we're able to use the digestate right here on the farm to grow corn for the cows, hay for the cows, uh, that'll keep the cows fed and keep them producing the manure that we can put back into the digester. At Jordan Farm, the digester is at the center of a pretty closed system. But it doesn't just work on this scale. In fact, everything that's flushed or drained near Boston, Massachusetts ends up here. Welcome to the Deer Island Treatment Plant. My name is Dave Duos. I'm the Deer Island Director. Here, the sewage from about 2.3 million people gets treated using huge anaerobic digesters. And the result is the same as on the farm. Methane that provides heat and electricity and fertilizer, which in this case is sent to a facility where it becomes tiny pellets. So everything's getting clean. It's the ultimate in recycling facility. We, we try to take the nastiest stuff that you can send us and clean it up and make it environmentally beneficial. So what I found out is that poop isn't just waste. When you flush the toilet, you might be feeding trillions of microorganisms, producing energy, and fertilizing our nation's farmlands. Ew. Got a question about anaerobic digestion? Let us know in the comments. And for more gross science, hit subscribe. Thanks, Liz. You're welcome. <laughs>